and the world I grew up in, a lot of guys I know, uh, you know, you live, the Bible says you live by the sword, you die by the sword, and some of them were shot and killed, uh, OD'd, I've OD'd on heroin, my, heroin myself three times, and God has brought me out of it, and I believe uh, God has been with me all these years, and he's still with me. God has touched my life. And I got something, do you mind if I read this? Sure, go ahead. Um, I can still feel God's hand on me. He has always been with me. From my youth to the present, he has brought me through much. I am victorious. His divine guidance has brought me to this very place. And I do believe that. God has always been with me, always protected me, and brought me through. Always. He's always been there for me. He's provided for me, and he always will, because I focus my life on him only. Mm. But God, uh, I, uh, when I moved here in 2009 from Santa Cruz, I lived there for about 30 years, I think it was, and uh, when I moved here, I, I, uh, a, a girl named Michelle asked me to speak at something called Street Church. I knew about, I went to it a couple times in Redwood City to eat, just eat the dinner. I didn't stay for the sermon or anything. Then I spoke, it was January of 2013, and I spoke at the Middle Park, and, and Pastor Dave called me soon after and asked me if I could go on the schedule. Uh, and I became very involved with Street Church. Uh, I still do outreach, but not, not like I was. But God has blessed my life, and he has opened doors for me. Uh, when I moved here, I, I, I got a drunk driving in 2008 in Santa Cruz, moved over here, finished my classes, lost my license. I didn't, I left my Soma truck, left it in Santa Cruz, moved here. I, I used public transportation. And I remember praying, asking God, I said, if you have a vehicle for me, give it to me, but I really don't need it. Yeah, you're doing okay, good. I really don't need it. So about four years went by, and Pastor Dave, that's when I met him, he asked me, what's it going to take to get my license back? I, I go, I just got to pay a fee. And so I paid that. Actually, he doesn't like me to talk about this, but the street church paid for it and helped me get my license back. And he provided me with a vehicle, a Ford van, I remember it, to do outreach with. And that's God's way, because he knew I couldn't afford to own a vehicle, pay the insurance, the upkeep, because my income was much lower then. But God always provides. They paid for everything on that car, and I drove it, and I got to do outreach with it. And that's just God. He knew my need. God knows your needs. And he's going to meet your needs. And that's what he did with me. Mm. And he's still doing that. 